In Colombo, India is an advanced start with Sri Lanka to operate an airport on the southern tip of the island where the China has invested heavily as part of its Belt and Road Initiative, a Sri Lankan ministry said. Sri Lanka's Civil Aviation Minister, Nimal Siripala, said the country had been looking for alternative investors in the Hamandanto area where China has built a seaport and is in discussion to build an investment zone and a refinery. It was during this time India came up with a proposal, Siripala said on Monday. They were ready for a joint venture with the airport and the aviation service limited, he said, referring to a state-run company that runs Sri Lanka's main airport in the capital Colombo and one in the south in Matala. The town of Hamandeto sits near one of the world's busiest ship lines and is an important part of the Belt and Road Initiative of China aimed at building the trade and transport links across the Asia and beyond to the Europe. China runs a seaport with a 99 years lease and was planning to expand its footprints in the area with a refinery which could be Sri Lanka's largest and the investment zone of about 6,000 hectares. Beijing's project backed by the loans extended by the Chinese government and initiated by the previous Sri Lankan government have faced a widespread opposition in Sri Lanka. The local residents facing evictions to make way for the project have staged a numerous protests. Other critics say the Sri Lankan government signed up an unnecessary and a loss making project, pushing the country into long term indebtedness. India has offered to set up a joint venture with Sri Lanka to manage and expand the facility at the loss making Matala Airport, which sits adjacent to the Humble to Seaport, according to Siripala and an Indian government assurance, who requested anonymity because of the sensitivity of the matter. There was no immediate response from the Indian Foreign Minister to a request for a comment on the airport deal. The initial investment would be $293 million, of which India will provide 70% on the 40 years lease, according to a Sri Lankan cabinet paper viewed by the Reuters that details the Indian plan to make the airport viable. The airport built at a cost of $253 million by China, which also provides $230 million of funding, gets one flight at a day from Dubai and has been dubbed the world's emptiest airport for its long empty corridors. The Indian government so said India had proposed establishing a flying school and a maintenance hub at Matala to boost the airport's revenue while it builds up the traffic. There are also hopes that the airport could be a destination for Indian tourists. And also he said, we are trying for a large integration of Sri Lankan and the Indian ecosystem. We want to boost the tourism in our two countries. China said it was not aware that Sri Lanka was considering allowing India to manage the airport. China also put in a bid to operate the facility, but the two sides failed to agree on the financial terms. China hopes the relevant country does more to play a constructive role in increasing the mutual trust and cooperation between the nations in the region and promoting regional peace, stability and development. The Chinese foreign minister said in a response to an email request for a comment from Economic Times. In the world bond, India and Sri Lanka have centuries-old ethnic and cultural bonds, but these frayed amid New Delhi's support for Sri Lanka's Tamil minority during the island's 26-year civil war which ended in 2009. China was among the first countries that stepped in to help in the post-war reconstructions of Sri Lanka, building roads, power stations and ports. By 2014, Chinese Navy submarines were also docking in Colombo, raising the alarm in New Delhi and prompting a push by the administration of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to claw back the influence in the region. The Indian source said New Delhi would allow Sri Lanka to determine the size of the Indian stake in the airport venture and whether it would be involved the state or the private companies. However, some opposition groups are concerned that the turning to India is equally fraught with the risk. Dulas Alaparuma an opposition member of the parliament of Sri Lanka said the government was making a mistake by handling over the national assets to China and India in Hamadatu. In the end, there could be dangerous consequences, he said. On Tuesday, the Sri Lankan police detained three opposition MPs protesting in Hamadatu against the airport lease plan. The three included Namal Rajapaksa, the son of the Mahinda Paksa, 
the former president who signed the construction deal with China. Siripala, the aviation minister of Sri Lanka, said any deal to give India the right to manage the airport was purely commercial and would not compromise Sri Lanka's security interests. And also, Rajapaksa is an opposition party, so he will be opposing anything while the ruling party does in the Sri Lanka. So what do you think of China getting a huddle of its over in Sri Lanka as Sri Lanka is getting closer to India on its projects in Sri Lanka? Is this a man?
post your comments below. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is WC Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.